Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure for installing the MQTT broker in Home Assistant. So I have a number of other Home Assistant videos and I'll put a link below to my Home Assistant playlist where you can find those. So there may be different ways to do this. This is just my experience with it. So I don't have a ton of experience with MQTT. So hopefully I can share some of the things that kind of hung me up as I was going through. So what MQTT is, is almost like a news wire service. So you have entities that would feed in that service and then it would send the news out to other parties. So imagine you're at a small town newspaper and you subscribe to a national news feed. There might be a reporter in Washington, D.C. that writes something, sends it to the wire service, and then it sends it down to you because you subscribe to the Washington, D.C. news feed. Of course, this isn't about news. This is actually about controlling IoT devices and reading sensors and things like that. So there are two different parts of this. There's the MQTT integration and the MQTT add-on. When you install the MQTT add-on, it will install the MQTT integration. You can also just install the MQTT integration and use some third-party MQTT broker. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to my profile. I'm going to scroll down to advanced mode and I'm going to turn it on. Then I'm going to go to settings, people, and users. Now when we turned advanced mode on, this user tab showed up. I'll go down here to add user and I want to create a display name so I'll just call it MQTT user and then the username I'll just call MQTT underscore user and this can be anything you want. For the password you want something secure. For my demonstration I'll just do MQTT password and this is on a temporary setup of Home Assistant that I set up just for this purpose. So I'll go to create here and I can leave those other check marks off. So we have the MQTT user, and you do want to use a secure password there when you do set this up. So now I'll go back to settings. I'll go to add-ons. I'll go to add-on store, and I'll search for MQTT. So here we can see the Mosquito Broker. I want to click on that and click on install. So I'm going to speed up the video here while this is installing. Okay, so that finished installing. We can see it's checked to start on boot. We can also turn on Watchdog. So if this crashes, it will restart it. And then it has auto update. People have different opinions on that. I'm just going to leave it off. You may want to turn it on, but updates can potentially break things. So I don't have a good recommendation for everyone for that. So next I'll hit start down here. So it looks like that started up. So now I'll go back down here to settings. I'll go to devices and services. And now we can see the MQTT integration. So what we just installed was the broker, and this is the integration. The integration will talk to the broker. So imagine this integration is like that small town newspaper. It's going to connect up to that wire service to get messages. So I'll go to here to configure. It says you want to configure Home Assistant to connect to the MQTT broker provided by the add-on Mosquito Broker. So I'll hit submit. So this does a lot of things automatically for you. I'll hit finish. And here we have the Mosquito Broker. Now we can click on configure here and we have this page where you can publish and you can listen to a topic. But what I'm going to do is I'll go to reconfigure MQTT. And here we have a username and password. So I'm going to put in my own user account here. The one I just created, not my own. But the MQTT underscore user and then password. And notice how this is really long. We'll get to that in a second. I'll type MQTT password. So I've had issues with some of the tools I use with MQTT with the default password. So I could have actually clicked on this I here and gotten the password and used it somewhere else, but it's super long. So on my production version of this, I just use a really good password that's, you know, 12 characters that are random. And that works better for me, but I had a lot of trouble with the really long default password. So it should work with the default username password also. So then we have advanced options here. So then I'll just hit next. So here we have enable discovery. And I've read some tutorials that say to leave this on. I don't like it on, it clutters up the system. So I'm going to turn that off. Then I'll hit submit and finish. So now we can use this listen to a topic to start listening to the MQTT broker. But there's another tool I like to use that's a lot better. It's called MQTT Explorer. So you can search online for this. If you're on a Mac, you can actually download it from the Apple App Store, but there are versions for Mac and Windows and maybe other platforms too. So we're going to use this to connect up to the MQTT broker. So this is actually similar to the integration. So the integration is a client and this is also a client. So I'll go here to connections. I'll type HA dev2. That's the name of this Home Assistant instance. I'll type in the host HA dev2. 2.local. So I'm using the local DNS address. I have had trouble with certain MQTT clients using that and it liked using the IP address instead. So there are a number of different ways to get the IP address. Let's go back. So if I go to setting, I think system, network. 
Yeah, okay, so if we look down here under network adapter, we have the IP address, so it's 192.168.7.94. And actually, I think I'll use that. So I'll type 192.168.7.94. And then the port, I have the default port, and then we'll use our username as MQTT underscore user is MQTT underscore password. So we'll hit connect. And hopefully, if you did everything right, this will connect up. So here we can see sys and broker. We can see mosquito version 2.0.15. And we have all of this stuff, all these, all this different information here that we can look at. So I just wanted to have this video installing MQTT Broker, connecting to it in Home Assistant, and then also setting up MQTT Explorer. So I'll have future videos where I actually utilize that, but I'm going to show you another instance I have that actually has information coming in. So I'll hit connect here. So if I go here to Home in this Open MQTT Gateway, and RTL433 to MQTT, here we have things like weather sensors, that are coming in. So this is a weather sensor. This is a full-on weather station. So there are many different things that you can set up that will send information to Home Assistant via MQTT. And it's not actually sending it to Home Assistant, it's sending it to that broker, and then Home Assistant is collecting it from that broker. So it's a little confusing because the MQTT broker is hosted from within Home Assistant, but you can almost think of it like a separate entity. You can almost even think of it like a whiteboard where people write messages and other people retrieve the messages from that whiteboard. So that's setting up MQTT and the MQTT broker on Home Assistant. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.